So we've come up about 600 feet, 650 foot climb to our first overlook. And there's a nice view of Lake Winnipesaukee from the east side. And there in the distance is Gunstock Mountain. You can just make out the ski area. It still has a little bit of snow on it. So we've reached a point here where the granite gives way to these blocks of basalt, uh, which is an igneous rock. Makes sense since ossipes are part of an old volcanic cone. And these weld up into these columnar joints, which at the top of the mountain you can see gives it the, the look of the back of a turtle, hence why they call it Turtle Rock Mountain. Uh, but here's a, actually a large, large outcropping of these basaltic columns kind of broken away. Well, we've come about two miles and we've reached the junction of the bald knob cutoff, which has been pretty much a relentless up. And here it is, that's the bald knob cutoff, which is the last quarter of a mile has been like walking up a stream. Uh, to the Bald Knob Trail. And the Bald Knob Trail looks, once again, up but not very steep and nice and broad and wide, but also with a lot of water coming down the trail. So onward to the Bald Knob Summit. So we're not quite at the summit of Bald Knob. But uh, at this point, the Bald Knob Path actually hugs the side of the mountain. Uh, and there's an absolutely gorgeous view of the Ossipes. Uh, you can see all the way up into the White Mountains. You can see Lake Winnipesaukee. And then finally, the Bell Maps on the other side of the lake. And it's crystal clear today, absolutely beautiful. There's a uh, Gunstock and Mount Belknap. And we still have a little bit to go to get to the summit.